Yo, what is going on guys? Jakey here. Today I will be showing you how to reduce input lag on Apex Legends. Now I want to start by saying that the best way to reduce input lag in any game is to increase your FPS. And if you guys have not already watched my FPS tutorial, um, you know, the best uh, config and auto exec for Apex Legends, then I will leave a link to that video in the description below where you can check that out. Um, today's video will mainly be for NVIDIA users, so anybody with an NVIDIA graphics card will be able to do this, um, unless you're on a really old graphics card. So basically, you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are on the latest version of NVIDIA drivers, and the reason you want to make sure you're on the latest version is because NVIDIA actually came out with um, optimizations for Apex Legends in their recent drivers. So in their recent drivers, they made it so that FPS in Apex was more stable, and overall you just get more FPS on the latest drivers. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed, and if you don't have that installed, you can just Google it and download it. But after you get that installed, you just right click on this icon here in your taskbar, and you click on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And once this is open, you wanna to go to Drivers, and inside of here, you just click on Check for Updates, and if there's an update available, it should pop up right here. I'm on the latest version, which is 436.15. Um, and if you guys see this or anything newer than this, then go ahead and download it um, and make sure you do a clean install. Um, so basically it will pop up and say express or custom installation. You wanna click on custom and then make sure you check clean install so that all of your previous uh, drivers get uninstalled. So after you have that, uh, with this latest driver, there will be a new setting that you can change inside of the NVIDIA control panel. So you want to right click on your desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. And once this is open, you want to go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure use the advanced 3D image settings is checked and click on take me there. And this will bring you to the manage 3D settings tab where you want to scroll down until you find low latency mode. So I actually have a dedicated video on uh, the best NVIDIA 3D settings for Apex Legends. I will leave that video in the description as well, so you guys can check that out if you don't already have it. Uh, basically, I just go over all of these settings other than the one I'm going to show you today and the best settings that you want to have in here. So yeah, but today, all we, gonna, all we want to focus on is this low latency mode, which is pretty new. Uh, it came with the latest two drivers that uh, optimized for Apex. So this will affect any game, you know, if you play CSGO or anything like that, this will affect all your games um, and give you the lowest latency possible. So by default, it's off. And then if you put it on, uh, on, this will be the equivalent of putting it on, like the previous one was pre maximum pre-rendered frames and having it set to one was the lowest latency that you can get it. So if you want the old experience, then you just put this on on. But if you want the lowest uh, latency possible and you want to make use of the latest drivers, um, then you want to select ultra. You can actually read it right here. It says low latency mode on to prioritize, prioritize latency by limiting queued frames to one, ultra to prioritize latency by fully minimizing queued frames. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I said, the best way to get the lo least amount of input lag in Apex Legends is to change your config and uh, set up your auto exec so that you can get as much FPS as possible. Again, that video will be in the description below. I highly recommend you check that out. Um, and then second would be to make sure you have the latest NVIDIA drivers installed and then go inside of your NVIDIA 3D control panel and then make sure that low latency mode is set to ultra. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Just